Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> But that is the point of the video to get myself together it's been a rough couple of days i've been working it's time to wash my hair i'm breaking out as y'all see on my face so in this video i'm gonna just be like washing my hair doing my hair and chatting with y'all talking to y'all while i'm doing my hair and stuff like that and i'm probably pop my bumps because i don't like it so yeah let's let's do it so i'm gonna show y'all the products that i've been using on my hair me personally they good products it's been working for me my hair been growing and stuff like that i don't know if it's pronounced like ac or aussie but i really think it's pronounced aussie because of the way it's spelled but i got like the shampoo and the conditioner the leave-in conditioner the curling cream and then a deep conditioner and it got like a whole bunch of stuff like curl refresher and stuff like that that they sell at my job i won't buy the whole set like so i can have everything but i'm good with this just for right now i'm gonna put this deep conditioner in my hair first and i'm gonna let it sit in while i go get my mama for work and then i'm gonna wash it out when i get back from going get my mama for work and i don't know what i'm gonna do to my hair i think i'm gonna do the style that i had because it was really really cute I don't know. I'm going to think about it. But I'm going to show y'all the style that I had and how cute it was. So I might do that again. But I don't want to do the same. And y'all, honestly, I'm so proud of myself because I used to be scared to wash my hair in the sink. Like, I didn't know how to wash my hair in the sink. It was a struggle for me. So every time I wash my hair, I had to wash my hair in the shower. But now, I could wash my hair in the sink like a big girl that I am. Mm -hmm. If you talk about me, God bless you. May the Lord judge you. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all, I am so proud of my hair and I am so thankful to God because my hair has really, really been growing within these past March, April, May, within these past almost four months, about to be four months, so it'll be like three months and some change. But anyways, like, ever since I went natural, I didn't cut my hair off, like, probably three four times now at this point why just because i don't even know don't ask me well i can't say that i don't well i can't say that i don't know don't ask me because i don't know so boom at least like two of the times i'm going through depression so i cut my hair off and it was like you know i needed a relief i needed a change or something i really don't like water running down my face on my neck like it was so irritating but anyways it was like you know i need a relief or something i need a change i need to feel free you know and the hair was just too much to deal with with the depression now this last time that i cut my hair off i was going through a depression so bad so bad which is real i cut my hair off like i didn't even need it to cut my hair off i'm gonna insert the pictures to show y'all my hair show y'all how much i didn't need to cut my hair off but i just felt like something needed to happen something needed to change this was before i met god i ain't know really knew who god was or how he worked so you know find other things to uh to deal with my problems and cutting my hair off was like one of the things that i would do and so, I got in this relationship. Y'all, this relationship was so bad for me. I had, I had cut my hair off towards like the beginning of the relationship. And then I was in a relationship for another what, like probably six more months or something like that. And y'all, when I tell y'all the whole time I was in a relationship from the moment I cut my hair off, now I'm not gonna say the relationship caused my depression, but the relationship was a part of my depression. If you're in a relationship and you're depressed, get out that relationship because that relationship is not for you. But anyways, so I was in a relationship, and baby, that relationship was so bad for me, stressing so much that my head did not grow from the moment that I cut it off to the end of the relationship. Was probably like a six whole months that I 
had no help. It did not go not one inch. I'm telling y'all, not one inch, not a peak of an inch, not a, not going not one inch. It was not hydrated, nothing. Like I was going through it. And so the minute that I got out the relationship, like the minute that I got out, look at my hair, growing, flourishing, nurturing, healthy. So just thanks for my advice for my girls out there and for my, and for my boys out there. Yeah, for my boys. Because the girls be putting the boys through it too. That's one thing about it. Sometimes girls will act like they don't do nothing wrong. But as girls, we do wrong too. And we tend to misunderstand a lot of stuff. And sometimes we can be the cause of our relationship ending. Now with my last relationship, I ain't gonna, I could say it was both of us. We both did wrong. We both had our issues. But God didn't want the relationship to work out. I'm just talking. But um, God didn't have his approval on that relationship. So it didn't matter if we want the relationship to work out or not. God didn't want us together. God didn't put us together. So it was never going to work out. It's never going to have peace because that is, that's not what God intended. But anyways, like I was saying, because I'm just chatting away. If you're in a relationship, a healthy relationship keeps you young. A healthy relationship keeps you glowing. It keeps you growing. It keeps you alive and not dying. It keeps you peaceful. It keeps you free. Now, you know how some people be in a relationship and they be like, oh, I'm going to gain a happy weight. You could gain depressed weight too. So not, so when you're in a relationship and you gain all this weight, you be like, oh, I'm gaining this happy weight. Really sit there and analyze your relationship because that happy weight really not, really might not be happy weight. It really might be depressed weight. You think you're happy, but you're really not happy. If you're in a relationship, and you don't even recognize yourself no more. You don't even recognize the person you are. You don't recognize who you used to be. And I'm not talking about in a good way as in like this relationship changed you for the better. You're like, well, I'm talking about in a bad way, like in a depressive way that you don't even recognize yourself. Get out the relationship. You don't need to be in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, and y'all constantly arguing with everything, get out the relationship. If you're in a relationship and you never feel like you're at peace, you never feel like there's no gentleness, there's no stillness, get out the relationship. If you're in a relationship, I could go on and on. I just give it advice of what I've experienced. To help other people. And I feel I'm just talking. That's what I plan to do anyways. But I feel like I'm not being like a... What's it called? Like... On track. What would I say? But at the same time, I am on track. So, talking about... You know, the same thing. Same subject. Same topic. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna call y'all back. I'm gonna finish putting this in my head. Hold on. So, I'm gonna put it in a little like ponytail so I can put it in a bag so this could sit while I'm gonna get my mom. She's gonna be like, girl, where you at? Girl, I'm coming. But, anyways, if you're in a relationship and you have to question whether or not the person loves you, get out of the relationship. Because I guarantee you right now, they don't love you. Because one thing about it, and two things for sure. If somebody loves you for real, you will never have to question if they love you or not. You gonna know. 
it's gonna show without a doubt I ain't got no cap but you know Mm -hmm. See, when you do your hair, your face just start looking better. I mean, I think I'm my boss and all, but you can tell her if you a difference. I'm going to just call y'all when I get back. Another one. God is love. If you want to know what love is, God is love. So if this person don't believe in God, don't have God in their life, and I'm talking about read the Bible and everything, because... In order to believe in God, you gotta believe in His word. If they don't have that, they got love for real. All right, I gotta go. I'm on. I give it to y'all. So y'all, I'm washing the deep condition out of my hair right now. When I wash my, hold on. When I washed my hair earlier, I didn't really wash it. I just wet it so I could put the deep conditioner in it. But now I'm gonna wash it for real. So I just shampoo. It smells really, really good. It smells really, really good, y'all. Yeah really really good hey guys avocado that's what smells good now eat that so my hair really needs to wash out i had like dandruff in it my dandruff was really really bad i had this on because i was cold but now i'm hot okay so y'all i'm finna blow dry my hair now because i don't like my hair in this uh this natural state like we just finished washing and cutting because i don't like the shrinkage of it you know what i'm saying i like my hair to be out at its regular length or whatever so i got the heat protector the leave-in conditioner i put the leave-in conditioner first and then I ain't gonna lie y'all i'll be putting the, the cream on there to give it like some more uh like hydration hydration is the word that's what i think in my brain so that's what i do and then i got the heat protector and i got the brush and the blow dryer yeah yeah so i'll be back so y'all i am finished blow drying my hair I look like them people from back in the day. Uh, but this what I mean. Like, I like for my hair to be like out, no shrinkage, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I like it to be out. I think I'm gonna just like do some scale braids. Then when I take it out, it's gonna be like curly or whatever. I'm gonna show y'all a picture of like how my hair was three months ago versus how it is. And well, y'all see how it is now, but like. I got hair. It clean underwear. Look at my hang time. Look at my hang time. And I could put it in a bun. And I could put it in a bun. I got my edges back. I got my edges back. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait for it to grow out some more. I won't wear it like this. But this look kind of crazy. This look kind of crazy. So. I'm definitely. I don't even know. I gotta. Like some scale braids. 
I'm putting two ponytails for right now. Cause I don't know. Go to the home. To the store. I just wanna say thanks to you. Thanks to God, my hair grew back. I got a hair. Look at my ankle. My fault bigger than that. I don't need it. Come on, girl. She needs the scrunchies. Y'all, I was supposed to record as I was braiding my hair and talk to y'all as I was braiding my hair, but honestly, I've been taking breaks and I've just been trying to get it over with. So, I didn't just braid it these three and I braided the whole bag. Y'all see that? They gotta get it. But, yeah, I'm gonna take them out tomorrow before I go to work and it's gonna be how it's gonna be. I gotta do this side, then I'll be finished, but I'm on another break right now. Cause my arms be hurting, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't even know. I I don't even know. So y'all, I am on my last break. Thank you, Jesus. Because honestly, I was getting tired. I think I shouldn't have even took like breaks and stuff. I should have just pushed through. But. In all reality, guys, the reason I got blow dry my hair out, because, like I was saying, I don't like it, um, I'm not going to say I don't like my natural hair, because I love my natural hair, but I don't like its original state that it be in, like, all the shrinkage, and it be so, like, clumped up together, like, how you describe it, like, it be like all bunched up together and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what to do with that. Like, I can't do nothing with that. But when I blow dry it out, it's like easy for me to manage my hair. Easy for me to do something with my hair. But when it's in its natural state, I don't really know what to do with it. Like, I could put it in some twists and bands with us, but that only lasts for so long because you go to sleep, wake up the next day. The style is over with, and I'm not gonna be keep doing my hair every day. Like, if I want some braids, like some uh some some knotless braids or something to have a style that's gonna last. Cause baby, I ain't got time. I don't got time to be doing my hair every day. So. I finished and I'm gonna take it out in the morning I don't know if y'all can tell but like I'm, I'm tired I'm over it I take it out in the morning before I go to work so I'm gonna show y'all the little finished product or whatever and I like twist the ends like this I don't braid it all the way to the end Cause it be too small. I gotta work on looking at the camera instead of looking at myself. And I'm finished. Fresh out. I served about two years. They locked me up. They ain't wanna let me out. But God had bigger plans for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Okay, hey y'all. So, it is currently Tuesday right now. I recorded that video Wednesday night. I didn't record me taking out my hair or nothing. But I'm going to insert a little video how my hair turned out. It was real pretty or whatever. It's a crazy morning the next morning. As y'all see, I got my knotless braids in. Cute. But, thank y'all for watching the video. Subscribe. Share with others. Love y'all.